So on your side tonight at 6, the Chesterfield Food Bank making sure every family can start off 2023 with food on the table. Right now, volunteers are handing out boxes full of supplies for people in need. Chesterfield reporter Desiree Montilla is joining us live from the food bank. And Desiree, tell us more about what you're seeing out there tonight. Well, Simone, I can tell you hundreds of cars are still filling the parking lot of Chesterfield Food Bank off Iron Bridge Road for this special distribution, which is set to run for about another hour, fulfilling a need for hundreds of families in the area. A need, officials tells us, grows during the holiday season. This is what we do. We're here to serve our community, to uh, love our community, and to meet the basic needs that uh, we could otherwise go unmet. Cars lined up around the Chesterfield Food Bank, where volunteers are serving hundreds during the special distribution, rescheduled after it was canceled last week due to the cold weather then. It, it hurt. It hurt us and the team to have to uh, be in that situation. Where we have to make that kind of call. Nicholas Jenkins says the decision made with a heavy heart was for the safety of their clients and volunteers in light of the freezing temperatures. It still made Friday night sleep in a little bit difficult knowing that people who had planned on receiving food were not going to be able to. And that was really the motivator for us to be able to uh, kind of quickly regroup and plan for this Friday for today and be able to hopefully reach those people. The food bank estimates they will hand out 700 or more carts of food, each cart equaling to four to seven days worth of groceries for a family of four. A need Jenkins says grows during the holiday season. We recognize that uh, though it's a time full of, you know, it smiles and joy. It's also a time of stress and people who are already in tight situations only getting tighter with more outside pressure to uh, be able to do things that they may not financially be able to. So this time of year for us is heightened, not just with the food that we distribute, but also the way that we take care of our clients. A mission to fight hunger and empower lives, Jenkins says, comes with support from their neighbors. We rely on the community for food drives and monetary donations so that we're able to meet the need and continue to sustain meeting that need as we work towards building programs that will help people get off the need of assistance. And I also just got an update from officials who tell us in just under two hours, over 400 cars have already gotten food here and the event is so plan to be run for another hour and the Chesterfield Food Bank tells us that uh, people can help out by donating their time, money, food or all the above. You can find out more ways you can help on our website NBC12.com. Live and on your side in Chesterfield County this evening, Desiree Montilla, NBC12 News. It is so important to give back, especially this time of year. Desiree, thank you.